What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports here at the Voice of College Football. We're going to preview the 2023 schedule for the South Carolina Gamecocks before we get to 2023. Let's look back at 2022. Here was the schedule from 2022. Uh, you can see the non-conference schedule, Georgia State, Charlotte, South Carolina State, and then of course Clemson. They played Arkansas and Texas A&M out of the West, so they didn't have to play Alabama or LSU. That was good. Um, and how crazy is it? You look at the early part of the season, Arkansas, Georgia, they were one and two. Really didn't look like a team that was going to be you know, a top 25 team. If you had told me at that point they were going to go on to beat Kentucky and Texas A&M and Tennessee and Clemson, uh, I don't think I would have believed you. But, of course, Missouri and Florida games where they did not play well uh, and they lost those two games. So it could have been a, a much better season if they would have played better in those games. You know, I think most people would say at the end of the year, South Carolina was a better team than Missouri and Florida, but they came up short in those two games. So, um, again, a schedule that wasn't too bad. Just Clemson, the non-conference, didn't play LSU or Alabama. Uh, but anytime you play in the SEC, of course, you're going to have a pretty tough schedule. Uh, let's look at the games they play in 2023 outside of the division. They will play North Carolina in Charlotte. That obviously will be a huge game, huge game there. Furman, Jacksonville State. Uh, don't sleep on Jacksonville State. Remember, they beat Florida State just a few years ago. Uh, that's one of the better FCS teams. And then Clemson. So they'll play Clemson like they do every year, this time at home. So North Carolina and Clemson, those are the big non-conference games. And that's a, I mean, you know, that's a very respectable non-conference schedule. They play Mississippi State and Texas A&M out of the West. So not a horrible draw there. I do think the Aggies are going to be much improved this year. So that, that's going to be a tough one on the road. But still, no Alabama, no LSU. You got to be pretty happy with that. So let's go week by week. They open up the season with the game against North Carolina in Charlotte. This is actually the third time these teams have met since 2019. Should be a good one this year. Two teams that I think will be... Probably in the top, near the top 25 if they're not. South Carolina probably will be ranked to start the season. North Carolina might be just outside the top 25. But uh, we saw this matchup again a few years ago in the regular season, also in a bowl game. So looking forward to that one. That'll be a good one. They play Furman after that on September the 9th. Then it's on the road at Georgia, September 16th on the road. That will obviously be a very tough one there uh, playing in Athens with Georgia now looking like the premier program in college football. They'll play Mississippi State after that on the 23rd. That'll be a home game. And then right back to the road to face Tennessee. So in those first five games, you've got road games against Georgia and Tennessee, arguably the top two teams in the, the East this year. That's pretty tough. Also, North Carolina in the non-conference. Mississippi State out of the West. That, that's a very tough start to the schedule. Interesting that... Uh, they, they only get really one easy game in the month of September. Everything else is going to be a challenge. They get a bye week after playing Tennessee, and then it's right back to the conference schedule playing Florida on October the 14th. That'll be a home game. Then it's back-to-back -back road games at Missouri and at Texas A&M. Those will be challenges. I, I think those will both be challenging games on the road. And then they get a little bit of a break. You get Jacksonville State on November the 4th at home and then Vanderbilt after that at home uh, so a couple of home games there after a couple of road games in, in a row and they actually don't go back on the road in the entire month of November they get Jacks Jacksonville State at home Vanderbilt at home then it's Kentucky at home on November 18th and Clemson will also be at home on November 25th so you, you like the way they finish this, the schedule off here now obviously Clemson is going to be a big time test Kentucky will be a, a tough game but it's at home all four of those games at home but that schedule from and really from Georgia to Texas A&M, when you look at those six games, Georgia, Mississippi State, Tennessee, Florida, Missouri, and Texas A&M. So those six games, four of them on the road, two of those road games against the top two teams in the division, that is a very tough stretch right there. If they can get by North Carolina, take care of business against Furman, if they can finish strong in the month of November, uh, that'll help, but then again, you still have that middle of the season, those six games, very tough stretch there. Uh, again, from Georgia to Texas A&M, those six games, those will be the ones that tell us how good South Carolina is in 2023.